Hello, I'm Jay. Let's talk about Dragman, a 2020 graphic novel by Stephen Appleby with uh, watercolor by Nicola, Nicola Schering. Uh, Apple, Nicola, uh, Stephen Appleby is 66, a London-based illustrator, cartoonist, painter. Uh, their Twitter, their, their, their uh, Twitter byline there says, uh, she, he, him, her, whatever, I'm easy. For the purposes of this review, I will refer to uh, Stephen as she. She is a trans, she is a trans woman uh, who has been sort of living out since I think about the 1990s is when she, when she came, when she came out and just started and started openly dressing in women's clothing and stuff like that. That comes into contact here with her main character, Augustus Crimp. Hi, a uh, brief interjection. Uh, the main character of this graphic novel is August Crimp, not Augustus Crimp, as is what I will now say repeatedly throughout the rest of this review. I'm sorry, I'm not going to have a chance to be able to to re record this review again. So this is what we're going to we're going to go with. But yes, it is August Crimp, not Augustus Crimp, which is what I'm now going to say repeatedly throughout the review. All right. Let's get back to it. Uh, this is a lovely, kind of gentle story of, as I said, Augustus Crimp, drag man, uh, a trans woman dealing with self-hatred, bullying, transphobia, uh, and coming and dealing with all that and coming out through to the other side, uh, all all using the uh, the genre of a superhero story to tell the story. Uh, this is a superhero who gets her, gets her powers by dressing up in women's clothing and gaining the ability to fly. Uh, the the art in the book is um, it's quite it's uh, quite sort of a simple it's a it's a simple simple style, uh, very kind of hand drawn wobbly. Really gives you that uh, what I find is sort of that expressive side of you can tell that a, a human being. Uh, drew this uh, and that they were, you know, it's that those in, imperfections and the kind of the simplicity uh, kind of gives you that kind of get, allows you to kind of get, get a lot about the artists throughout the book, which is where my particular, um, I, my attachment to kind of graphic novels and their, uh, their, their style probably goes, goes more to that, to more to that style than it does to more of kind of a realist style. Not that that doesn't have amazing kind of, uh, kind of expressive qualities. It's just of my, of my, of my taste. That's, that's definitely the case. And I, you know, that's that your, your mileage may vary, but, uh, that this is that, that's kind of a simple kind of cartoony for another lack of a better word style. I need to work on my work on my terminology. If I'm going to talk about more graphic novels going, going forward. Um, it uses, uh, as, as you can see the uh, watercolor, the watercolor sections, here's a nice big spread. Uh, the watercolor sections represent the present in the present in the book where, um, Augustus Crimp has sort of re rejected his double, had rejected his double life, settled down with a wife, had had a child. Uh, but we had, we also get, we also get the black and white places where we get we get Dragman's uh, 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 origin origin story and him saving the life of a little girl Cherry. Uh, no, there's no superheroes around to to save her. And he, she, she knows that she has this power. She puts on women's clothing. She can fly and save Cherry, who's fallen off a building. You know, it's that kind of silly superhero thing where you have enough time to <laughs> get all dressed up and jump and jump off the building and swoop down and save and save uh, the little save the little girl Cherry. Um, so uh, we we get that, and we get her getting bull her getting bullied bullied out of the thing, and then we get the present of her having gone back to being Augustus Crimp because she's gotten bullied out of being a superhero by uh, by the Fist, who is the super ultra masculine, uh, very transphobic the character who is, you know, calls calls Dragman by all sorts of horrible, horrible names and dr drives her out. Um, so the book is told primarily from 
dra Dragman Augustus Crimp's uh, point of view, though we get sections from Cherry's point of view because she's upset science in this world has discovered the, has discovered the existence of the human soul. And of course, what happens once you've discovered something, you immediately start selling, buying and selling it. And her, her parents, due to money troubles, have sold their souls and are now very kind of mean, crappy people. And indeed, that seems to be what a lot of the people who have sold their souls in the book they have money troubles, they sell their souls, and, you know, they're, they're, they're crappy people, but now they have money. There's also a, a definitely more commentary on that, because superheroes in this world, well, if you're going to be saved by a superhero, that's because you've had to have the right insurance, and if you can't afford the right insurance, well, you're out of luck, like poor Cherry was, falling off, falling, falling off that building. Um, the other set, the other point of view, character that we get in the in the book is from is pure text and the pure text is uh from the point of view of a serial killer who is preying on trans women taking advantage of well i mean whatever he's taking advantage of them having all having these kind of secret lives not revealing it to their families i i really get the sense of you know maybe uh with uh stephen appleby being of a later you know, a l earlier generation of uh, being 66 of having experienced, you know, things are not great in, in England, in America, in Canada for tra trans women. But, um, even that more oppressive thing of, of how it was, how, um, they have to kind of have the secret life and be that, and thus because of that becoming vulnerable to predators and in this book there indeed is a predator that is that is a, that is killing trans women and because that they have secret identities no one's been able to put together you know what's been going on that they all that they are perhaps all congregating around one area where the predator the predator is so uh, yeah there's there's a lot of stuff in here of the superhero secret identity with uh, the secret identity of being a tr of being a trans a, being a trans woman and having a secret life, uh, Dragman gets gets her name because the newspapers call her Dragman, which you know she protests against. But so, but um, her her friend uh, Dog Dog Girl says nope nope you you can't you don't get to choose the, the the newspapers will always always pick what the name of the superhero is and you know she considers it wrong it's like i dress as a woman but i'm not doing drag if anything i'm trans i think i'm really just trying to be myself and you know she is and you know this gets there's there's a thing in here of that she she uh, goes to a goes to a club, an actual kind of community for uh, trans trans people and other people of varying different uh, sexualities called Club Pretty Pretty, and she has to have a name there. And Dog Girl gives her her next her her next name there, which is Dolly Marie, which you know she you know Dragman Riley you know comments he has like yeah it's another secret identity. It's that the the thing of the the secret identity which is not a big thing in you think about kind of superhero movies movies today nobody has this very rarely has a secret identity anymore but uh how much that kind of resonates with uh people who have to kind of had to keep uh their true selves uh disguised to kind of blend in and not be per, not be uh, openly persecuted not be open to all the persecutions that would that would um you know happen happen in a society and you know just this whole thing of uh the community aspect of it when she gets to see when she gets to see uh club you know in the past and get to go see club pretty pretty and you get to see just kind of a, all the wide variety of folks of the folks that are there and just like how happy and welcoming that is um but at the same time that being contrasted with amongst there there is a serial killer who is also in there using his secret identity his hidden hiddenness to be able to um go after go after people who are just trying to kind of find commonalities trying to find human connection uh and have been denied and it's you know that that sort of thing um so yeah you know in the end this book is just um there's you know this is such a kind of a warm hug of a book you know it's not about reenacting uh, about react reenacting re trauma about this stuff. It doesn't feel like it's a book that it's like you're, someone's going to come out of and go, oh God, oh God, that just brings back all my 
wor- all the worst things it it feels like in the end it's about you know you know at the end of a, of the book it's it's one of these things where um Augustus Crimp Dragman Dolly Marie get to you know find you know they are who they are and isn't that great and that's just such a wonderful kind of a accomplishment for a book a book like this uh so yeah i'm i found this on the library shelves and picked it up just sort of oh i'll i'll give something a try and i'm just so happy that i did find it it actually turns out that i know stephen appleby because um he did some album art for one of my favorite pixies uh one of my favorite uh pixies albums uh trompe le monde i'm trying maybe put a picture over there and the rocket the rocket ship over there he's also done uh tv stuff he's 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 done various other things i think this is maybe his first uh, graphic novel dragman himself is uh dr- herself is actually come springs from a cartoon strip that she did in the uh the guardian and there's you know, it's it's a wonderful book. Uh, there's a thing here. Uh, there's a picture of uh, Stephen Appleby. There's a wonderful little thing at the end of the book too, which is I am not Augustus Crimp, which is I'm, which is the artist. It was which is Stephen talking about how she's not Augustus Crimp, though she shares much of the kind of the concerns and history and self doubts and kind of a, 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 some of the journey of Augustus Crimp, but that um, you know. It, it's it's she's she's taken all of that and put it into the, into this book I like a lot of her uh, her life into this book and it, it really shows and you can really feel it and you can you can feel how ah it's like this is this is this is such a great place to be and it's just like that, that feels so wonderful uh what such a gift to have uh in a book so yeah yeah that's my thoughts on Dragman. i've been jay more videos later